When working with video files in Blender, it often makes sense to convert them into image sequences since they are easier to work with and cause less issues. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how we can convert this video file into an image sequence. So let's jump into a fresh Blender scene and I'm gonna open up a new workspace, which is gonna be a video editing workspace. Then we can simply take our video file and drag and drop it in here. Then just make sure that it starts on the first frame. So I'm gonna drag it to frame one. And right here you can see that we have 385 frames. So let's go down here and set the end frame to 385. Next we also need to make sure that your resolution matches. So under source you can see that our video file has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. So let's go up to the scene settings and set it to 3840 by 2160 as well. Now the video is too small so let's go to the transform options and bring the scale up to 1. Now we are already prepared for the rendering. So let's switch to the rendering workspace and just render out the single frame by pressing F12. So this seems to work and on the color management just make sure that the view transform is set to standard. Next we can take care of the output properties. So let's set the file format. I like to use JPEG, this works in most cases but you can use whatever image format you like. Then we also need to set a folder for the output. And I'm just gonna create a new folder next to our original video and call it image sequence. Let's open it up and also set a file name. I'm gonna call it image sequence as well. And I also like to add an underscore at the end because after that the frame number will be added. So let's click on accept and just go up to render and render out the animation. This is usually very quick since no 3D rendering is involved. Once the render has finished, we can go back to the file browser and take a look at this folder and you can see that each frame was rendered out as a single image. And this is now a perfect image sequence that we can work with in Blender. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section.